All scientific articles begin with titles designed to be accurate, concise descriptions of the article's content and findings. Above or beneath the title, you'll find author information, including names, professional qualifications, institutional affiliations, and sometimes contact information. The first major section of text in the article is the abstract, a concise, formal summary designed to help readers quickly determine whether the entire article is relevant to their research or interests. Abstracts generally contain one to three sentences corresponding to each of the article's sections or subsections. Many abstracts are what's called structured, which means each subsection is separated by a bolded heading. Other abstracts are simple paragraphs. Regardless, they almost always mirror the organization of the rest of the article. The purpose of the introduction is to orient readers to the focus context of the present study so that they can understand why the research was conducted and what problem it aimed to address. It will typically proceed from the most general background information and review of relevant literature to a specific statement of the problem. To justify the study in the minds of readers and other researchers, the writers identify gaps in the general knowledge and rationale for why their study was needed. In most disciplines, the methods section arrives next and explains the how of the study. Its core responsibility is to be so detailed that another researcher could replicate the study exactly. It may be one long section or divided into subsections discussing the population or subjects, data collection and analysis, and other aspects of the protocol and design. When necessary, the methods section also provides rationale for the study design by citing precedent by previous researchers. The results section is a description of notable and relevant study findings presented without any analytical explanation. The paragraphs of text and any tables, figures, or data sets work in conjunction with one another to provide just the facts. When reading a results section, it's important not to assume that the tables and figures are just graphic representations of what's already in the body paragraphs. Usually, they are just as important to understanding the study's findings as the textual explanations. The discussion is the most subjective section of an article because it contains the author's analytical interpretation of the results. That is, whereas the results contain just the facts, the discussion argues for the significance and implication of those facts. Imagine reading the results of an article and wondering, so what? The discussion should answer this question. Sometimes, studies don't produce groundbreaking results. They simply confirm what others have already found which is still important to the scientific process. In this case, the authors will reference previous studies in the interest of demonstrating consensus. In the absence of a separate section for this purpose, the discussion will often point out the specific strengths and any weaknesses or limitations of the study design and outcomes. The final section of most scientific articles is the conclusion or conclusions. Typically only a paragraph or two long, it presents a concise summary of the study's relevance and a call for more research. Last comes the references, a numbered or alphabetized list of all literature cited in the article. This section is not only professionally and ethically necessary for giving credit where it's due, it's also an incredibly helpful resource for writers and researchers who need to consult a wide array of literature before forming their own arguments or beginning their own research.